season upon us I thought I would uh, show you some of the rubs and uh, that I use the dry rubs that I use in my barbecue cooking so I'm going to show you how to make a basic dry rub this is fantastic on your on your ribs on your spare ribs on your baby backs um, you can even use it on pork chops pork joints uh, anything porky this is absolutely fantastic for so what I do is I tend to have a kill in a jar dump it all in the kill in a jar and mix it up but this one here we will mix up as we go along because it's got sugar in it. So to make this rub, first thing you want is a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. So just dump that in there. This, the reason we sort of mix this up as we go along because your brown sugar is a little bit sticky. So that's a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of white sugar, just normal white sugar. So we'll dump them two in there in a minute. We'll shut the lid and give it a good old stir up. Basically, what happens is because, as you all know, brown sugar is a bit sticky, it can sort of lump up like so. We then add quarter cup of good quality paprika. Now the paprika I use, and I'm one of these people I like the best ingredients, is uh, the chinata in the red can. Um, you've all seen it, you know, you can get this from your almost supermarkets. Um, this is the sweet variety, they do two, they do a sweet and they do a hot. But you want the sweet variety in this. There you go. Lid on. Give it a good shake. Like so. Then we want three tablespoons of, of good quality sea salt. You know, I tend to use the Malden sea salt myself and a tablespoon of good quality ground black pepper. Dump them in. Give it another good shake. Like so. And last but not least, you've got a tablespoon of garlic powder. go and a tablespoon of onion salt onion granules in they go give it a good shake up And there you have it, an absolute fine rub to put on your ribs this, this season for your barbecuing. And what I tend to do with my ribs is put yellow mustard on them first and then put this on because the yellow mustard will help this stick to your ribs. Um, it's all that's there is basically to be used as a glue um, to, get this, to get this rub nicely, nicely. Uh, you know, stuck to your ribs. But this is a fantastic rub. Tastes fantastic um, with the sugar and that. And you know, for a long, long cook on your ribs, you talk like three, four hours, you know, five hours even on your ribs, you have the most lovely tender ribs going. So there you go. That is my basic dry rub. If you want to spice this up a bit, what you can do to this mix here, you can add a, t uh, a tablespoon of uh, chili powder or a tablespoon of cayenne pepper and it will really really um, spice this up but I tend to not add um, the chili powder or cayenne pepper at the start what I tend to do is my, my opinion is 
once you put it in, you can't take it out. So, if you've got guests coming, coming around, that sort of thing, they might not like their ribs spicy. So, you've got the rub there, you can put it, you know, you can put this on their ribs, and then you can spoon some off and put a little bit of chilli powder or a little bit of cayenne pepper in a, in, a, in a separate container with it for the people that want a hot, spicier, you know, a rib. So, my opinion is, leave out the spice and only add it when you want it. And that's it basically, that's my basic dry rub for all your pork ribs. Um, spare ribs, pork ribs, pork chops, uh, pork joints, you know, I've done, I've done shoulder joints, you know, rub, put this dry rub on them. Brilliant, on the barbecue, absolutely fantastic. Give it a try. Like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you.